Hello and welcome back. It's me, Mrs. Gregerson, and in this video I'm going to show you how to embed a video into your blog post. This is a great way to add a lot of interest to your post and show people that we can use YouTube responsibly. Um, so first you have to have a video that you want to embed. So I have found a video about zombie ants here on YouTube and in order to share this video, you first have to click on the share button down here. This is going to be a little more than just copying and pasting the URL. So click on the share button and when you scroll down, you'll see this button that says embed. That's the button we want. So you click that and then everything that's in this box right here, you need to copy. So it should already be highlighted for you. So you can just right click, copy that, and it's going to be some crazy code, and that's what we need. Um, these things down here, you should be able to keep the same. Um, the size down here, keep it the smallest because our blog has minimal space for these videos. So when you're done copying it, you go back to your post that you were working on. So here's my zombie ant post again. And we usually work in the visual editor. It's really easy word processing like editor. But to put in your video, you need to click on the HTML editor. So there's going to be a lot of crazy code. You want to go all the way down to the bottom and you can put in a couple of returns there so that your cursor is at the very bottom and then you right click and paste and that code that you copied should come with it. Okay, so this down here is the code for your video. Don't mess with any of this code up here. That needs to stay the same. When you go back to the visual editor, after entering that code, and you scroll down, you'll see this big yellow box. And it's going to look that way until you actually publish your blog. So don't worry, you haven't done anything wrong. So to see what your video is going to look like, first click Submit for Review. For some reason, it works better this way. So click Submit for Review. And then up here in this yellow um, banner that has popped up, Click preview post here. For some reason, this preview button doesn't work very well for the video. So click preview post right here. And it should bring up a new window or a new tab. And when you scroll down, you should see your video. If you click play, it'll start to play just like the video on YouTube. Now you can see that for some reason, this is a little large for the size that we have or for the space we have available. So to fix that, you can close whatever window you're looking at here. It'll bring you back to your editing page. And to fix the size, we have to go back to the HTML editor and find that code for your video, which should be at the very, very bottom. You should see something about YouTube there. And where it says width, change that number to something like 500. That should make it a little bit smaller. And then to see what it looks like, click Submit for Review again. Click that Preview Post. And when you scroll down, there, that fits better. It might not be perfect, but that's OK. It's at least not covering anything up over here. So that's when you just want to embed a video that's already on YouTube. I'm going to close this. If you want to embed a video that is not on YouTube, maybe it's just a video file, it's very much similar to embedding a picture. So you would go to your upload slash, slash insert button. You can select a file from your computer. And I'm going to go find my videos. Let's see, I'll find a short one so it doesn't take quite so long. And it will take a little while to load here. Um, the only difference between embedding a video from YouTube and inserting a video this way is that when you insert a video like you insert a picture, it's not going to just pop up automatically with the video. There's going to be a link that your readers will have to click on and then they can view the video. Um, it all works the same. You get the video in there you know, one way or the other. Um, but this way the video just isn't embedded quite as nicely. So just like a picture, you would say insert into post. And then here's the link for the video. Now I'm going to preview that. And whoop, 
oops, I didn't update it. I did not click submit for review. So let's submit for review to update it. Now it has some extra stuff in there, so it's taking a little bit longer. Here we go. Click preview post. And here's the link to that video. No, it's not in the best place, but that's what it would look like if you insert it like a picture. And there the video is. So that's another way um, you can insert a video if it's not on YouTube. So either way, it adds a lot to your post. And I hope you take the time to do that. Thanks for watching, and good luck with all your blogging. Bye.